Hi, my name is Olivia Emmett and I'm the program leader here at Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. Today I'd like to share with you a program on moonbows and why our moonbow is so unique. First, let's talk about what is a moonbow. It's really similar to a rainbow. However, rather than the sun shining through the mist of the rain that has just fallen, it is the moonlight shining through a mist. And that mist here at Cumberland Falls is from the waterfall. Now, as you can see on this picture, the river is curving and it's curving up and downstream. We are in the perfect position in the river to view the moonbow. If we were a little bit further upstream or a little bit further downstream, we wouldn't be in that perfect position for the moonlight to shine through the mist of the waterfall from our perspective to be able to see the moonbow. So it's not just the mist, it's not just the moon, it's also the position of where we are. And this will change over time. As the waterfall erodes, it's actually moving upstream. And that means it hasn't always been in the same position, nor will always be. So this is a pretty unique point in time geologically. If you want to learn more about this, you can check out my video on geology. Now, let's talk a little bit about the prism of the, of the water droplets. So as the light shines through those water droplets, the light gets fractals into all the different spectrums of the light. As you can see with my prism right here and my light source right here, you can't always see that rainbow unless I get into the perfect position. And then you can pick up the rainbow. Now, some of the biggest questions that we have about the moonbow is how do you photograph it? Because as we're going to learn, we're not going to be able to see the moonbow as we see it in this picture right here. And one of the biggest things is that we do not want to use a flash when we photograph the moonbow. That's because we want to pick up the fractals of light that are shining through those water droplets. We don't want to pick up an artificial fl flash from our cameras. Another thing is that a lot of people don't know this. And so if you're trying to take a picture of the moon boat and somebody else uses a flash, it actually completely destroys your picture. So it's quite challenging just because a lot of people don't know they're not supposed to use the flash. Another challenge is that not always are the conditions right for taking a photograph. Sometimes there's more mist, sometimes there's less. And depending on the level of mist, is going to depend on your quality of your picture of the moonbow. Some other challenges are clouds. If there are any clouds obscuring the sky, you're not going to have enough moonlight shining through that mist to be able to pick up those fractals of light shining through the mist. Now, a good place to start if you are really into getting that perfect picture of the moonbow once you're allowed to come back and view it, is starting off with an ISO 400, an aperture of f8 to enhance the focal sharpness, a shutter speed of 45 seconds, timed manually using the bulb setting, and a focal length of infinity. The format that you're going to want to use is RAW or JPEG. Now, different angles, but the same moonbow. A lot of times, the upper viewing area of Cumberland Falls is the best area to view the moonbow. However, sometimes you can get a good sight down on the lower deck as well. Now, this is something that I posted about earlier today. It is not just a moonbow. Every sunny day, we have a rainbow that occurs here. It's the same phenomenon. Once the sun comes up over that ridge top, of the canyon walls and shines through the mist of the waterfall, there is about a two hour period where it shines through that mist and creates a rainbow. And you can see all of the different fractals of light with the naked eye, not just in a photograph. And this is a fun fact that not many people know. Our moonbow has been on jeopardy. This was a coworker of ours that took this, Adam Ray Photography, this beautiful, 
beautiful picture of the moon boat. As you can see, um, this was taken from the upper deck um, viewing point. However, she has also taken some beautiful pictures down at the lower overlook as well. Now, it's not the only reliable moon boat. What does reliable mean? Reliable means that it happens every single month as long as the conditions are right. Now that's our claim to fame here in North America. We are the only reliable moon bow in this part of the world. However, it's not the only one. There is one other one in Zimbabwe, Africa, and it's called Victoria Falls. It similarly, every full moon, two days leading up to it, the full moon itself, and two days after, so it's a five day period that you can see it, there is a moon bow created by their waterfall. Now, Yosemite also has moon bows. However, they're not reliable. Depending on the rainfall in the area or depending on uh, the time of year, it affects how um, visible the moon bow is. In this picture over here, this is earlier in the night, so the moon bow is higher. And over here, it's the same night, but the moon position has changed, changing the angle of the moon bow. Now up, the upper picture is what we're gonna see with the moon boats, this white band of light. Our eyes, our cones in our eyes, aren't sharp enough to be able to pick up the different fractals of light. However, when you take a photograph of the moon bow with a long exposure, that's when you're gonna be able to pick up the colors of the moon bow. I have heard a rumor that little kids can still see the colors. I don't know if it's their cones are perfectly intact, or if they still believe in magic, but it's pretty cool. I hope that when you are able to come back to Cumberland Falls and visit up close and personal, that you will be able to see the moonbow. Remember that even if it is a moonbow night, many different factors affect if you are going to be able to see it. So if you come and you're not able to, do not get discouraged. Every single month you get another chance. I hope everybody is staying healthy and safe. I hope you have a good week. Thank you.